Start training your puppy to get used to brushing by making it lie on its back on your lap. Brush its underside while talking to your dog, making him feel secured and comfy. Use a grooming pillow in doing dog's face. For puppies, use only rubber in tying, so your puppy will get used to it. Short whiskers need not be tied. Make your puppy lie on its side by holding its front and back legs and turn it slowly to lie on its side. Puppies easily get irritated with foreign objects such as scissors. Here's what to do. Gently rub the scissors on its paw and click the scissors to get used to it. Trim your dog's paws using sharp scissors. Be careful not to cut the skin. You do this for neatness and your dog's safety from slipping. In trimming the nails, you should again familiarize your puppy with a nail trimmer to use. This is the proper way of doing it. Be careful not to cut the quick. It is the sensitive pink area which contains vessels and nerves. This cannot be seen in black nails, so cut the nails very carefully. Do the same procedure you did with its paw on its anal part. If your pup has a nice, square, dark pigment muzzle, trim it with sharp scissors, also making him feel safe by touching its muzzle with scissors. If you tied your dog's hair with rubber bands, remove it by cutting, making sure you don't cut the hair. It took you a month or two to grow an inch so don't take the risk of pulling it out. This is the right way to cut rubber bands. First, get one part of the rubber using the tip of your scissors. Then pull it gently away from the base. See to it that there is no hair with the rubber. Then cut it. Remember to slightly mist the hair with conditioner spray before brushing to prevent static and hair breakage. Make sure there are no tangles by using a wide tooth metal comb. Here are simple and easy ways to make a daily maintenance top knot. First, use a parting comb to clearly separate the hair to show the stop. Be extra careful in doing it because you might poke your dog's eyes. This is the stop. Part the hair in the middle starting from the center of the stop going straight to the back. Get a portion starting from the stop up to the tip of the eye. Wrap with Japanese rice paper. Fold it in half and tie with rubber band. Make sure that it's not too tight. Get the back part and join the loose end of the first knot. Do the same on the other side. It should look like this after doing the other side. Check that the loose end of the last knot does not reach the mouth. Otherwise, make another set.
If the whiskers wet, dry it with tissue. Or you may use cornstarch for faster drying. If it is soaking wet, use a hair dryer. To preserve the length and maintain cleanliness, you may also wrap the whiskers and the face falls with tissue. First, wrap the whiskers, then the face falls along with the wrapped whiskers. Remove the hair that joins from the lower jaw. Gently remove the eyelashes. Make sure that it is not too tight. Another way to make the daily maintenance top knot is by using rubber band. Get a portion starting from the stop up to the tip of the eye and tie it with a rubber band, not too tight or too loose. Get the back part and repeat the procedure. Get another band and tie it one inch apart from the first knot. Do the same procedure, this time joining the second loose end, making them one. Continue doing it until you get the desired neatness. Doing the whiskers is just the same in doing it with wrapping.
In cleaning the eyes, use eye drops to remove dirt. In cleaning the teeth, use a soft bristle brush with kitty toothpaste. Cleaning the teeth of your dog should start from puppyhood. So start it with the use of your finger. Then after some time, use the toothbrush handle until your puppy starts to get used to it. Then you may start using the bristle brush. Then with toothpaste. Do it regularly. You may add baking soda to whiten its teeth. In cleaning your dog's ears, use a hemostat and cotton to make a swab. Moist with hydrogen peroxide to remove ear wax. Don't go too deep. It might hurt your dog. It's just normal to have hair inside its ears. For hygienic purposes, you may pluck the hair using a hemostat or by bare hands. Put some powder or cornstarch for easy plucking. Make your dog lie on its side for easy brushing. Start from the breast by misting with conditioner spray. Then brush it layer by layer until smooth. Then check for tangles by using a metal comb. After doing the breast part, do the same with the legs. After brushing the legs, Start brushing the upper part layer by layer, also using conditioner spray and metal comb to check for tangles or mats. Use a pin comb in layering the coat. You can feel the tangles by brushing also when it breaks. In dealing with tangles, use your hands in untangling. Do not pull or force your comb to remove it. You'll just damage your dog's coat. Do the same brushing on the other side. In brushing the tail, start from the top of the hair to the base. Discontinue brushing when it stops. Use your hands to untangle. Then brush until smooth. Double check by using a metal comb. To part the hair in the middle, Raise the spine to use as guide in getting the center. For the tail, you need to trim the hair around its anus for neatness. You also need to trim the hair at the base of the tail for easy stacking in the show ring. Make a V-shape in front of the base of the tail to facilitate movement and also for easy stacking. One of the problems with bitches is sticky coat around its private part, especially when she's in heat. Dry it using a clean tissue and sprinkle some cornstarch to aid in absorption. Brush it gently and add some more cornstarch if it's still moist. <laughs> 